I'm going to show you here how to set up a collection in Google+. Plus. Um, I, I see a, collections as being useful perhaps for a classroom teacher who wants to organize Google Plus posts in a specific place. Teacher might then uh, create a collection, actually might create a collection for each class and then add uh, relevant posts to, to that uh, collection. So here's how you would do that. Uh, I have Google Plus open here. I'm going to go to collections. Of course, I don't have one yet, so I'm going to create a collection. Um, like, like many of the resources in Google Plus, you can uh, make the resource available uh, to various groups. Um, this is presently set to open or public, uh, but what might be quite helpful in a classroom setting is to make the collection available only to those students who are in a, a specific circle. That would be a great way of controlling uh, who can see the resources that are, are there. Just give it a name, create it, now I can do lots of things with it now. Um, can change the image, change the color. I suppose I can do that. Quickly add a photo just for fun. Maybe a fall scene here. I've got some of those. Uh, let's see. I like that. So, okay, we'll call that good. So, so now we have our collection. And uh, now what's uh, important uh, would be, so how do you add specific posts to this collection? Some people say this looks like Pinterest when it's done. And I guess that's kind of true. I'm going to go over here and access my Google um, profile. And what you're going to see are various posts. I've made to Google Plus, and, and, and so basically what I'm going to do now to, uh, to add them to my collection is this. I, I will warn people that I'm working from a desktop computer using a browser, and this process is going to be a little different, and actually it's easier, I think, uh, on an Android phone, but, but I would think, you know, if I want to create one of these instructional resources, it makes most sense to, to use a browser because that's what everyone, I think, would have available. Uh, and, and so here's how I, how I add the uh, resource to my collection. I, I come down here to where I would share this resource. <clears throat> I'm going to share it to Google+. And now you see it gives me the option. Uh, we well, maybe don't see it, but uh, uh, up here, this is where I would determine how it's shared. Now, presently it's shared publicly, but what I want to do is share it to the collection, and this is the collection just created. And so now it's shared to that collection. If I uh, come back here, open the collection, now you see the post is pinned, and I guess that's technically the term used uh, within this collection. So to add more posts, pin more posts, I would just repeat that process. That's the method you use to, uh, to create a collection and add posts to it in Google+.